A coupe body style which was always limited for the riches will now be a reality for a sub 20 lakh rupee car. Tata Motors will launch its first coupe SUV, the Curve, on 7th of August. While you are eagerly waiting and searching for all the information on the Curve, then this video is for you. And now we will reveal all the information available with some exclusive that we have got for you. So before we reveal and you listen, it is time for you to like this video and hit the subscribe button. Without wasting any more time, let's quickly dive into the most exciting part of the curve, its design. It is unlike anything that we have seen before in this segment or this price point. The curve, at least from the front, is not walled apart from other recent Tata models. You see the face, right? It resembles the Nexon, even the Safari, also with the front fender mounted charging port, which we see on the curve EV, is taken from the Tata Punch EV. There's a light bar neatly tucked underneath the bonnet line, which will also display welcome and goodbye animation. The grille and the headlamps get the typical Tata treatment as well. While the front profile is nothing to brag about, when you look at it from the side and the rear, it appears to be a completely new product, the next phase of the design philosophy of Tata Motors. Thanks to the sloping roof line which melts seamlessly into the rear deck along with an embedded rear spoiler gives the curve the coupe look. Now apart from the grille and the design of the alloy wheels, the curved EV and eyes carry almost identical designs. Then what is fascinating is the pop-out door handle which fit flush inside the door panels which in my opinion add to the premiumness of the curve's design. Also adding to the stance is the 18-inch alloy wheels which look classy in the curve eyes and the curve EV. However, the profile which steals the show completely is the rear section. The rake rear windscreen, the connected LED tail lamps, huge bumpers with short overhang are possibly the best design elements of the curve. Now if you thought only the exterior resembles the other Tata models then you may need to think again because the interior of the Tata curve also shares similarity with other recent Tata models like Safari and Hario. The dashboard gets the same design as the Hario with a floating 12.3 inch infotainment screen paired with 9 speakers from JBL. Also the 4 spoke steering wheel with an illuminated logo is carried over from the Safari. Coming to the features, the curve will be equipped with a 360 degree surround camera, front and rear parking sensors, a touch based aircon panel, panoramic sunroof with mood lighting level 2 ADAS and first in segment a power tailgate with gesture control. All these features are directly taken from the Harrier and Safari. That's not all. Curve's feature list is extensive with the inclusion of ventilated front seats, powered driver seat, ambient lighting, wireless charger, 45W Type-C charging port for both rows, electronic parking brake with auto hold, 6 airbags and an auto dimming IR VM. Coming to the color option of the Tata Curve Ice, it will be offered in 6 exterior paint hues including Flame Red, Opera Blue, Cosmic Gold, then there's Pristine White, Pure Grey and also Daytona Grey. Also all these colors will be offered in dual tone paint scheme as well. Not just that, the Tata Curve will also get the dark treatment with dark edition with black elements inside out in near future. Now we also have the exclusive details of the powertrain of the Tata Curve Ice and the Tata Curve EV. Starting with the Tata Curve Ice, it will be offered with three powertrains, a 1.2 litre turbo petrol, a new 1.2 litre TGDI engine and a 1.5 litre diesel mill. As for the transmission, there will be a 6-speed manual gearbox and a 7-speed DCT gearbox for all the engines. Now note here, the diesel engine will also get a DCA gearbox. Also Tata has given the AMT gearbox a mess completely. Meanwhile, on the other hand, the Tata Curve EV will be launched in two versions, medium range and long range. The latter will be equipped with a 55 kWh unit battery pack with a 600 km of driving range. Now, the battery pack will get four layer protection with fast charging support. How fast you may ask, well, it will give 100 km of driving range in just 10 minutes of charge. Now, we speculate the medium range version of the Curve EV will use the battery pack from the Nexon EV long range, which is 40.5 km a unit with a claim range of roughly 450 km on a single charge. Now, in terms of competition, the Tata Curve will slot between the Nexon and the Harrier. This will translate into competitors like Hyundai Creta, Kia Seltos, Maruti Suzuki Grand Vitara, Toyota Urban Cruiser Highrider and more. Not just that, there will be a direct rival in the form of the Citroen Basalt which will be launching very soon. Meanwhile, the Curve EV, at least on paper, will not have a direct rival considering it is a Coupe EV, but it will compete against the BYD Ito 3, 
Mahindra XUV 400 and the upcoming Hyundai Creta EV. Coming to the prices, the Curve EV is expected to cost more than the Curve Ice with prices ranging from Rs 18 to Rs 24 lakhs. On the other hand, the Curve Ice will range between 14 to Rs 20 lakh. So this was everything that you should know about the Curve Ice and the Curve EV. I hope this video has cleared your doubt on which curve is for you. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a thumbs up. Also share this video with your friends and family after subscribing to our channel. This was Haji Chakralwale. See you in another one.